Grim Reaper. Can I get the uh, spooky frag or whatever they're called? That'd be nice. What the hell? <laughs> what? Bro. You know, I did have my RNG, man. <laughs> I don't even have a legendary bat yet. Dude, my, my bat's only epic. But I've lived in many houses in my day. Oh, let's go. Soul frag. Wait, wait. I got a second soul frag. I didn't see that. Oh, we're getting close to being able to craft something, I think. I think I already have like three or four of them. So here's something I did off screen. Look at my mycelium collection. Huh? I have something cool to show off. So I have discovered probably the best strategy for snail. So let's teleport over to my spot and then get the remainder of this recipe completed, shall we? And if you look in the nether sack, we need six leather cloth, which is easily doable. Here's the spot. Here's the cursed place. Mm, not mineral, actually. Mineral helmet, yes. Young dragon, yes. So we switch to this. Le Rancher boots set to 400 speed. Mineral helmet because I don't have young dragon. I'll be chest plate with flint shovel, I guess. Any shovel will do. Put the voodoo doll away, healing wand away, and then we switch to snail. And then we use rogue sword. And then we check the bonus. 308, and if I use rogue sword, 350. The max is 400. So this is the optimal way to get mycelium right now. Rogue sword with um, young dragon armor helmet would be better. Putting all of my enrichments into speed, having sweet power equipped would be better as well. But luckily I did like 99% of the grind already for you guys. So we're going to get this done. The last couple thousand, it's going to take like a minute because it's like I already did most of it. But this is the power of snail pet. We are 5xing our drops right now, just about. Almost 400 mining fortune on blocks that are not ores. We could put the cupcake on snail but it's not level 100 legendary yet so i'm not gonna do that so now i believe we needed about 2000 collection so 2000 divided by 160 i don't know <laughs> i can't do math in my head oh we need like okay we literally need like 200 more we're about to get it all of that grind off camera and now gauntlet of contagion recipe unlocked and just like that i never have to do that grind again because now i could just do it on the private island with much better efficiency. Got to do a million damage to you six times. And once we've done that, then we are off to the races. Then we effectively just do 10% more damage. That's just how it works. So the way Gauntlet of Contagion works is if you kill a mob, all the mobs in a two block radius get hit for 10% of the health of the mob you just killed in an explosion. So it's like really good. I foresee that being insane with Bonzo staff with ultimate wise really just in dungeons in general that's insane that's like effectively just 10 percent more damage on crowds it's like insanely good so now we gotta hope that this lobby has people grinding kills on mini bosses might as well also damage blade soul wait what how did i get number one damage that doesn't make any sense the person who did the most must have left lobby that doesn't make sense though when it still show i'm so confused You know, while I'm waiting, honestly, while I'm waiting for Archduke to respawn, let's craft an item that I've been kind of waiting for for a while. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, though, but it could be Pog. So, chat, you want to see something cool? <laughs> if I go in here, Wither Souls, right? Honestly, why not? Let's get five spell powder and then we get the stick. Fire Freeze Staff. Ability Fire Freeze creates a circle with a radius of five blocks. After five seconds, all mobs inside are frozen for 10 seconds. Let's, uh, let's do it. <laughs> nice. Fifteen mil. Twelve mil. Ah! There it is. 
Archduke V Series 6. That's actually pretty impressive. There you go. Now we're done. Then we can leave. All right, chat. Now we're going to craft the other thing. Where do I keep it? Here it is. Oh, this is a big moment in progression. Ah. Oh. Gauntlet of Contagion. Ability Contaminate. Killing an enemy causes an explosion, dealing 10% of their total health as damage to all enemies within two blocks. Enemies in the blast radius will also be contaminated, causing them to explode on death. Boom. <laughs> Look at that. And it comes with... Eh, the attributes are okay, but it doesn't really matter because that's not why I have it. So I guess we're going to replace the glowstone gauntlet with the gauntlet of contagion for now. I don't need the full set bonus. Not a big deal. I could put that over here. I guess we should have a row for like equipment that I'm not actively using. We got two Kuja keys as well. Now I want to see the effect work. Where am I putting my extra keys? Right here. Seven Kuja keys and five hot Kuja keys. Very good. Then we get to put the rest of this away. I have a ton of enchanted mycelium. Fire free staff doesn't seem to be all that helpful so far. I'm not going to lie, but whatever. Okay, so killing an enemy will make it explode, huh? So if I were to just... It didn't blow up. Wait, people are saying particles are off. Well, if I just get two of them close to each other, I should notice it. A... Oh, now was that cleave or was that the gauntlet? Oh, yeah, it works. So that's cool, I guess. It's not going to make too big a difference here, but it probably will in Crimson Isles, actually. No freaking mana, did. Oh. Oh, that wasn't normal. It causes like chain reactions. As soon as I kill one, then several of them die. Pretty good. I'm normally not that powerful. So if I switch to this with less mana. <laughs> so then if I do, yo, what? That was actually good. Wait, that's actually really good. This is where the Dreadlord Sword and a Voodoo doll, by the way, chat. And the Gauntlet of Contagion is carrying so hard right now with damage. I didn't think about it, but the chain reaction of just like, if I get like three or four mobs with it, then like everything takes like half of its health as damage immediately. That's intense. And that's just because of a gauntlet. That's an equipment slot thing. It's like a, something that people usually forget about. So then if I do this, they just all die. Um, bank, castle, top. Ah, bank for Now watch them all die at once. <laughs> That's so good. Yo, gauntlets actually cracked though. I was not, that, that's not a 10% increase in damage. That's way more. Look at this. Boom, all dead. Now, granted, they're taking double damage because of the grapple shot, but still, I can kill these blazes so quickly. In a reasonable amount of time, I could spawn a blaze slayer T1. Look at that! Dude, that's insanely efficient. That's that's actually so fast. What the hell? Gauntlet of Contagion is like so good though. Now watch this. And boom, all dead. <laughs> boom. Boom. That one, that one I'm pretty sure died without even the voodoo doll influence. That's insanity. Yep. Gauntlet of Contagion, so freaking worth it. It's effectively double damage in crowds. It might actually be more than double. I don't even know. Like, I could not clear rooms of blazes like that before. That's all I know, man. I just got two Rampart helmets. Well, GG's, I guess. Wow, Gauntlet of Contagion is actually dumb. So that means my damage in dungeons will also effectively be... <laughs> I don't even know how much of an increase. Oh, I already have two Ramparts helmets. Now, Implosion Bell is in Sulfur Collection. And that's annoying because I need to get 
a hundred thousand sulfur collection, which is only really gonna happen if I set up slime minions with corrupt soil and basically just spam kill them myself manually, which is really annoying. So like, mm. oh, oh, hey, chat, look what I just picked up. What is this? I was trying to get this before. That's about the same as my Dreadlord <gasps> and my AOTE, but it has nothing on it. What? Honestly, cracked. I don't think I'm gonna use it because I have the uh, I have the Ragnarok axe, but at least I'll be able to do that. I'll put it in the museum. Well, Moody Grapple Shot. Uh, Fire Free Staff doesn't seem to be all that helpful to me at the moment. So I think we're just going to put that away. Now let me check. How many of these do I still need? We need uh, 16, 18 more. And then we can craft Totem of Corruption. Pog. We have enough to make a Searing Stone. Um, is it Searing Stone? The Heated Reforge? We have enough to do that if I wanted. Oh, there we go. Chat, we did it. This is kind of good for Iron Man, bro. You wouldn't think that I'd be able to do this at this stage of the game, but hey, Totem of Corruption acquired. That's kind of wild, actually. And Rampart Armor full set. Now, I don't know if this is going to be helpful to me. Is this helpful? 50 health, 20 strength, 15 crit damage while on Crimson Isle. Actually, that's not bad. That could be useful, perhaps. Wait. No freaking way I can already afford that. Wait a minute. I can. Chat. <laughs> spider artifact dude that was expensive oh man i was not expecting that at all that's actually kind of insane okay you kind of sound like mr bean sometimes How red claw ring acquired auto slayer on rev t4 now, the beautiful thing about Aatrox right now, half price Slayers and an increased chance for uh, Foul Flesh. So we should be, I don't know about profiting, but at least breaking even. So it's not going to cost anything to do this. So it's only going to cost 25k to start a Slayer. And we have a higher chance of Red Flesh, which is about 20k. So we should be. Okay, that was fairly fast. So my goal is to get eight in all Slayers by the end of Jerry, by the way. So maybe I can get Tarantula and Zombie to eight, and then I would get Sven eight during Jerry. I'm putting off uh, Sven's because I have a feeling the admins are gonna fix it soon. If not already, I haven't checked up with it, but the XP rates are awful with Sven's and they're trying to fix it right now. Eight in Voiglums, you know what I mean. If you had to pick another niche to be stuck in, what would it be? <laughs> Hard to say because just the idea of being stuck in anything is awful. I would be tempted to say Fallout, but the more I think about it, the more awful it would get because how do you make a thousand videos about a, like one good game and then a franchise of a bunch of meh games? And it's not like a game like Skyblock where you can play it for thousands of hours. Fallout New Vegas, 500 hours and everything's done. Especially if you're good at it, it'd be way less than that. So I don't know. I just don't like the idea of getting stuck in something. You know what? If, if I had to pick which niche I would be stuck in, fitness and like food. Oh, I just got combat 38. Pog, wasn't expecting to get a combat level, but here we are. Really